What's up, Gridiron Glory fans? Welcome inside a special West Virginia chat. I'm Kyle Brackey, joined by fellow West Virginia reporter David Holman, and we're going to break down everything that's going on in the Mountain State. And let's start with our top-ranked West Virginia team, the Williamstown Yellow Jackets. Yep, they are ranked six, six in Class A. The Williamstown Yellow Jackets, they're 6-1, and one, and they're facing off against a tough Parkersburg Catholic team this week that's 6-2. and two. Williamstown has actually already matched their win total from last year. If you remember, they were 6-4 and four and they limped their way into the playoffs. They're already 6-1, and one, already have the playoffs on their mind, but this Parkersburg Catholic team is also a tough playoff contender. Now, Williamstown, they're led by Jake Tracewell. He's a senior quarterback, three-year starter, also a Gridiron Glory Player of the Year candidate. He has nice legs, too, and he's joined in the backfield by fellow senior David Hastings. Look for that one-two combo to match up well against this Parkersburg Catholic team and make for a good game. Now, that game will take place on Saturday night at PHS's stadium field because Parkersburg Catholic currently doesn't have a stadium of their own. That's right, David, but before that game can get underway, Friday night at Stadium Field, the Parkersburg Big Reds will host the George Washington Patriots. The Big Reds come in at 2-5 and five after a throttling last week to number one Huntington, 55-14. to 14. And it doesn't get any easier for the Big Reds. These GW Patriots come in ranked fifth in the state. However, they are coming off their one loss of the season to number 10 Capital Midland. So the Big Reds will be hoping to play off that momentum and hopefully their offense will get rolling again too as they did score the most points Huntington has given up all year. Now, David, let's look at another Patriot team, the Parkersburg South Patriots. What's going on with them? Yeah, you know, Parkersburg South, like the Big Reds this year, they're struggling. They're both 2-5, and five, and this Patriot team is going to face a tough 500 Greenbrier East team. Greenbrier East, they're coming in 4-4, four and four, and they're looking to win their last two games of the regular season to limp into the playoffs. Now, this Greenbrier East team, they're led by running back Dalton Klein, who has 930 yards rushing. That's good enough for fourth in the state of West Virginia. Also, quarterback Isaiah Kinder, he can air it out, too. He is second in the state in passing yards. He's got 12 touchdowns and only two interceptions. This is going to be a tough offense for the Patriots to defend, but look for the Patriots' running game to be one bright spot for them. Brendan Schwindeman, he's got over 500 yards rushing. Also, Cody Smith, he's almost at the 500-yard mark. But this Patriot defense, they're coming off of a game against Brooke where they gave up 41 points. And when you're facing the second best passer in the state and the fourth best rusher, it's going to be a tough time. So we'll see what they can do. But if Parkersburg South can get the win, they have a chance to play, to play spoiler to Greenbrier East. Definitely going to be a tough task for the Patriots Friday night. Already can't wait for these final three weeks in West Virginia. For our on-web content, check out www.woub.org slash gridiron. Don't forget to check out our show Friday nights at 1130 here on WOUB. For David Holman, I'm Kyle Brackey reminding you, there's nothing better than Friday nights in gridiron glory.